so I'm user in a persona in Wikimedia and I'll be talking to you about how we in Amica Wikimedia uh, promote and manage our uh, small projects. I'll be talking about Wikibooks, Wiktionary, Wikibooks, Wikisource and Wikinews. We don't have uh, Wikiversity nor Wikivoyage in Catalan and obviously I'm not going to talk about Wikipedia because it's a large project. So I'll start with Wikinews. Wikinews is our uh, project that Let's say it's, it's our worst project in the sense that it has just a single active user uh, <clears throat> and it's not really updated to the like, latest news. So it kind of misses the, the point of the project. Uh, we currently have no at-risk projects, nor we plan to, for the simple reason that we just don't have enough hands for everything. So for now, this project is like in standby. We'll see what happens in the future, but for the moment, we, we don't really know what what will be of this project? Wikibooks, this is a happier project. Uh, even though the, the community or the users are not as uh, stable as in Wikinews, uh, Wikibooks, uh, because it doesn't need to be updated to the latest news, uh, that's not a, a big, a, as, big of a, as big of a problem. So we have some projects with uh, Wikibooks, with uh, some institutions from the Catalan government, and we made some some books. Uh, I realized that uh, non-academic books, so books that, for example, we have a guide for how to engage young people in events organized in your city or something like that, those tend to be more finished and more complete than uh, books uh, that are used in an educational context, probably because uh, in educational context, they already have uh, books. so they don't, it's not as necessary uh, as uh, with other uh, contexts. The main challenge that this project has is that writing books is often more time consuming than writing a Wikipedia article because when you write a, a book, you not only have to make the reader understand what you're saying, but also to learn. And this is like taking it a step further. Wikisource, uh, this is by far, the, I, I think, our um, more, most uh, stable project. It has, a small community, but it's a community. Um, we found that uh, working with universities, with students that are uh, studying uh, transcription uh, is pretty successful. Uh, uh, there was a, a professor in a university who already wanted to develop a kind of a tool to, for their students to, pra to practice. And so we were like, hello, we are here. Uh, you, you can use us. And so it was quite quite good, this project. The challenge that this project has is that transferring books is not the most exciting activity for most people. Um, but on the flip side, it's easy to do. Everyone, everyone knows how to copy text. So this is kind of a double-sided challenge. We could go out. Um, this uh, project uh, had a, a long period of like a hiatus, a long period with uh, low activity, uh, until we found what our strength is, is, and that's idioms and popular expressions. And that's because, especially in minority language, where the speakers are really interested in making the language uh, keep living, um, popular expressions and idioms and all these kinds of uh, popular culture are a symbol of the of the of the culture of the language of the language being alive. So we try to exploit this part of the project, and while we also keep, of course, uh, if, um, quotes by authors and important people, especially in our context, uh, we also try to do a lot of expressions and idioms. And finally, the dictionary. That's uh, my favorite project. Uh, it's also it's also quite stable, and it has the advantage that it has a lot of random users in the sense that some days we have like people coming and do a couple of edits, tra adding translation to their to their own language, and then they leave. But that's okay because that's the point of Wiktionary. It's a multilingual project. Um, it's also our pro our project, excluding Wikipedia, with the most views, uh, with over seven million uh, a year. And we have a pretty interesting project that started uh, some months ago, which is uh, the addition of Catalan Sign Language. 
Sioux Wiktionary. Uh, we currently have almost uh, a thousand signs that have been integrated in, uh, in video format. We also had some past projects with uh, the Termino Terminology Center for the Catalan uh, language. However, uh, this project has a problem, a challenge, and that is that the learning cur curve is really steep, especially for those of, of uh, for, for, for uh, the users that come from outside the Wikimedia ecosystem. And that's because the pages use a very rigid structure using temp templates, which means that the visual editor is basically useless. And they have not only to learn how to use Wikitext, but also what each template means. And finally, a uh, small thought that is not directly related to the topic of this uh, presentation, but why do we have a multilingual dictionary with local versions? I mean, it makes sense with some projects like Wikisource, Wikipedia, it can be argued, but with dictionary, there's a lot of duplicated content. So we don't, I think that we don't really need it, but this is a topic for another presentation. Now, these are all different projects with different scopes, different goals, and different uh, community dynamics. But they all share uh, common challenges because they are all small and, in this case, in a minority language. So first of all, there's a problem with the expression sister project because Wikipedia is also a sister project, but we never treat it as so. We also say there's Wikipedia and then there are the sister projects. And that's not how it should be. This, the only thing that this does is uh, it gives more influence to Wikipedia communities, less influence to smaller projects. Um, so this is like a change of semantics, uh, a change of the way we speak, but also the way we think. Of course, uh, there's a the problem of, of tools. Tools are made for Wikipedia, and then in some projects, they are useful anyway. They are useful in Wikibooks uh, and Wikisource, the visual editor works but not in, Wiki, not, not in Wiktionary and in Wikiquote there are also big problems because for example, when we add a quote, each quote has its own template and then inside of this template we need to put the uh, reference template. So it, it, that's not really possible with a visual editor currently. And of course, uh, as said, the communities uh, are small and they are even smaller in our project because it's a minority language. Uh, so it has less influence. You just need to take a look look at the community, community wishlist survey uh, that they do every year and most proposals related to sister projects don't make it to the top 10 or the top uh, whatever number they use to decide what they do. And there are other problems. Um, of course, uh, there is, it's a, a small community of speakers, even though I know that Catalan is in this sense, it's be, is in a better situation than Cornish or uh, Wales. It's still a, a limited number of people. So that's why, for example, we can use is, it, we would like to, to make it better, but we really can. And the same with Wikiversity and Wikivoyage. Also, there's the fact that a lot of uh, what these uh, Wikimedia projects do is already covered by third party projects. I mean, the same happens with Wikipedia, but Wikipedia is already established as the main source of knowledge but not with the rest of projects. As my dad said when I told him that I was a Wikiquote editor, what are they for anyway? <laughs> because it, it, it's true, I mean, Wiktionary, we, we already have uh, the like uh, correct dictionary of every language. Um, well, not of every language, but in our case, uh, we do. Um, with Wikiquote, there are tons of sites where you can find quotes by famous people and stuff. Uh, Wikibooks, I mean, there are YouTube tutorials. So that's why uh, many partners also prefer projects with Wikipedia because it's a big project. So they think that it's, well, on one, on one hand, it will be easier to do because there are more people involved, but on the other hand, there will give, it will give them more visibility than collaborating with uh, smaller projects. Now, uh, this is what, I, what we learned uh, from these years where we have been trying to uh, increase the activity in, in these projects. Um, first of all, uh, we have to be realistic. And the, the first two points are, well, I, I feel like most of the points are related. But the thing is, when a project starts, um, everyone is excited because new, New things are shiny, they are pretty, they are, you, you want to, 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 to use them, right? But then almost everyone leaves and goes back to Wikipedia or 
maybe they even just leave the whole Wikimedia uh, project. Um, and that's because old projects, well, it's just the same thing over and over again. So you have to either innovate or prepare yourself uh, to be left alone. And so, yeah, it, you have to be realistic. If you don't have enough speakers, if you don't have enough people involved in, in the movement, you cannot do sister projects like Wikinews, especially Wikinews that needs uh, a big community in order to be updated. Um, also, projects like um, like Wikinews or, or the Wiktionary that uh, the Wiktionary actually it has now a bigger community, but during a long time it has got a really small community, maybe one person with another occasional uh, user. Uh, they have survived because these people uh, were, were very passionate. So that's not a problem, but normally uh, you need more than one people, not only because of neutrality, as uh, another person said in a presentation yesterday, but uh, also because it gets boring if you are alone. Um, and you, you, if you don't have feedback for, for, from other people, you start to think that, it's not, that what you are doing is not really valuable. So having another user is a good solution for that. And finally, uh, take advantage of specific areas with less competition. Um, in the case of Wikiquote, sure, we have a ton of sites in, on, in, on the internet where you can find uh, top uh, 10 quotes from Shakespeare and stuff like that, which is really interesting, I'm sure, but uh, it, uh, the same does not happen with popular expressions, at least not in Catalan. That, of course, also depends on the, on the context of every language but we don't have any big site that collects all quotes or all um, popular expressions and idioms. So that's why we try to, um, to make this, uh, this site of Wiku quotes stronger. In the case of Wiktionary, uh, we have the normative dictionary in Catalan. We also have also two other dictionaries that are not really normative, but are <coughs> official-ish, more or less. Uh, but, uh, in the Wiktionary, so we also include these words, but we also include words that are not normative, that are from vulgar or colloquial registers, that are from other dialects that are not necessarily um, in these normative dictionaries. And of course, we also include other, other languages, such as Catalan Sign Language, which has had a great reaction from the institutions, from the deaf and signing uh, communities in Catalonia. And in the case of Wikibooks, uh, set also in academic manuals. I haven't included an example for Wikisource because we are lucky that in Catalan there isn't really any kind of digital library of free books. So uh, we have like kind of a monopoly here. And finally, our goals for the next five years. Uh, we recently in Amical Wikimedia approved our strategic plan for uh, yeah, until 2025. And these are our goals. Uh, first goal, uh, reopen Twitter accounts. That's done. Uh, I'm the one managing them for the moment. And it, it's quite good. I mean, we don't want to be like the next uh, Twitter influencer. Uh, we are just happy um, keeping them active so that people see that the, pro the projects are not dead. Then we also want to increase the visits yearly. As if, if you were uh, reading the quick stats that were there when I presented the, each project, uh, most projects didn't reach a million visits yearly, so that we want to raise uh, the uh, minimum view count uh, yearly to uh, a million and a half, except for Wiktionary that or has already surpassed that, so 20, uh, sorry, 10 million for, for it. Um, then we also want to grow uh, in content and in quality. We haven't like established a limit of, uh, sorry, a limit, a uh, goal for quality because that's not really easy to, to see how, how quality increases, but uh, content growth should be, should be easier to, to uh, quantify. And then of course also uh, making the communities uh, bigger. Um, five stable active users is a bit of a challenge right now, but I think we can do it if we put more effort and more projects. I don't mean by that like opening more sister projects because we have enough, but um, more like more outreach projects. Uh, for example, in Wiki Quote, we try to keep uh, two projects a year. Uh, so maybe adding a third one. 
Uh, in the case of Wiktionary, we are exploring also how to make editathons that are not boring. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, so yeah, that's, that's basically it. Uh, I hope that uh, it was useful to you, that you learned something. And thank you in both uh, Cornish and Wikilatis. <laughs> <laughs>